Gentlemen, welcome back to the room formerly known as the Wife Sewing. We have here, well, on the Patreon page, people ask me questions. You know, you chuck a couple bucks in there and dance, monkey, dance. I'm your private dancer, a dancer for money. I love it. Kurt Fitzpatrick, uh, and by default, F Patrick Fitz Kurt. <laughs> I don't judge. Feel like calling bullshit on something. Kickstarter projects, 8A. Someone needs to do it. That day. Normally, I don't do this, but when I see one that's super janky and it's uh, especially getting lots of money, you know, it kind of scratches my uh, jealousy itch. So we'll have a look at it here. It is a laser engraver what fits on just a tripod. Simple tripod. Look at all the wonderful stuff you can do here. And, well... Let's do the scratch and sniff test here. If it tastes like shit, spit it the fuck out. So we're going to see what is going on. Now, you look at this, a million doll hairs. That's a lot of moolah, but it's only actually 2,500 backers. So you only need to get 2,500 suckers, I mean customers, to buy into this idea. And uh, you're golden. In partnership with Funded Today, they got some professional photography done. And as we can see here, you can't click on anything that's high resolution. So that tells me right off the hop. Well, here we go. This is this is our best bet. Smeary as fuck. Anybody who ha uh, played with laser knows that the focal distance is absolutely critical because they need to collimate this bunch of photons and it needs to have pinpoint accuracy. So what happens here when you take something like this? and you move it from here over to here, to here, that distance is changing. The distance from the source is changing and it's tough to not get it to smear. So are they, is there some visual trickery going on here or do they actually have some sort of proprietary blend of 11 herbs and spices that allows them to do this? You will note that there is no, there are no close-ups. <laughs> it appears to have two modes. One G code, where it's actually moving the thing around, and one raster. So it looks like for lettering, it's rastering here, which is just going line by each and turning the laser orphan on in order to get that burn happening. Let's have a look at some of the... You really can't see... You're not able to see the, the results. So let's have a look at the Vigeo. Now this is interesting. It's rastering in real time extremely slowly and oh we'll go back here there's just the briefest of shots eh? just the briefest of shots it appears to be an external power pack now this claims to be an 800 milliwatt laser so is there there'd have to be a battery in here otherwise you know these maybe output max one amp most of them do 500 milliamps so we see a uv slightly well it's a blue laser and it's rastering and as we can see here the there we go it's missed some spots here as it's rastered around so this looks to be maybe a functional toy at best at worst a complete scam that's just going to take your money but it appears they have a, a working prototype semi-working prototype this is very toy like however so there we go yeah, here's the raster, and this is going to sped up, as we can see, and looks like total, total garbage. You see the raster. Yeah, just, there's, yeah. So that's what you're going to get. Don't expect any better than that, because this is the best that they can do, even for their marketing campaign. Bring surprises to life. And it would be an extreme <laughs> surprise if this thing actually shipped. If it does ship, it would be a surprise if it actually works half decent. I, I have a feeling this might last about 30 minutes of fun and lots of dicking around because here's the perfect example. Okay, here's the perfect, perfect example. It's Cubio, ready to work. Simply power it with your mobile battery. So you power it with your mobile battery. That means there's no battery installed. Now, this is interesting because the bottom of this leather is closer than the top side of this leather. So we are going to see this smeary as fuck down here. 
or possibly a jump cut to the finished product. And as we can see, it's sped up by the smoke Laser super fast. Raving is just as easy as having a cup. Okay, there we go. And behold, it's done and it's perfect and not smeary at all. That's the problem you're going to have with this thing is it needs to be set at a perfect focal distance. So this, this layout like this just wouldn't fucking work. This is completely false. It, it, it'd be smeary as fuck. So this is cute. He's taking a photo with his iPhone and ostensibly converted that into G code. Now this is a usage case that might actually work. This of course is sped up thin paper at a set focal distance and that's nice and flat set up it might actually cut that out and work yeah, eh, half ass decent you can also cut this here is some more fakery and this is in is it sped up or real time so that is in real time but we can see this was all done and then they came in after the fact and did the p the kerning on that is just horrific yeah just way off right so this was done at a set focal distance and then they came in after the fact to get the shot let's have a look in the comments there's some interesting comments here where are they okay so uh engrave slightly convex surfaces in a long board deck justin Wright. no it's not going to work for that here's the answer Thanks for your suggestion, preview, help alignment. So there's a, yeah, that basically a non-answer. Uh, this is very telling. We are working on third-party certification for the following items. IEC, FDA, CDRH, CE, UL, FCC. <laughs> we'll announce the results once the certifications are obtained. So this takes years. <laughs> That's just absolutely ridiculous that uh, this little thing selling 15, 1,500 of these is going to get that certification. That's complete and other bullshit. Scrolling through the marketing wanketeers stuff. And that's the thing. These guys are well paid to market this stuff. But it does not behoove you to believe at all. It <laughs> so here we go. This is very telling. USB, DC, 5 volts, 2 amps in this little, that's 10 watts, enclosed in this, <laughs> essentially in this little hot box of plastic. You know what's gonna happen, and it's gonna overheat in no time flat. You'll run for about three minutes, and then it'll shut down and, and have to cool off. There is no forced air cooling whatsoever. Just, yeah, a, a, an absolute toy. Here's the crew. Not a gray beard in the bunch, which is, <laughs> yeah, there is never, for whatever reason, there is never a gray beard in the bunch. We have specially developed an algorithm to compensate for distortion successfully. This is what I'm talking about. If you, if you raster from here through here over to here, the focal distance changes. Say you're, you're here and you're shooting a beam here. It's the focal distance is longer over here. That's Pythagoras. Yeah, of course, the details of the virtual lens algorithm are patented and confidential. Those two words are mutually exclusive. If they are patented, that means they have been publicly disclosed and anyone with knowledge in the field should be able to build it from the patent. That's the beauty of the patent. It's to share information while still protecting a monopoly so that people can make money inventing stuff for a set amount of time. Patented means it is not confidential. So this, if you want to keep something confidential, you do not fucking get a patent on it. Let's view the gallery here. Some nice, okay, okay, very telling. And of course, you can't get, yeah, you can't get the resolution you want to look at these things. Smeary as fuck on the bull board. Yeah, yeah, just horrifically terrible now let's see fixed focal length in a candy and there's real speed actual speed this is in a foam cake crouton or macaron 43 seconds yeah so we see the power there it it's it's clearly a toy 
that ain't tea bag. That ain't tea bag. But how big is that? That's probably about the size of a quarter, a North American quarter. So you're looking at two centimeters across. Let's ha okay. Let's have a look at this. So here's a real test on the thing. There's the interface. Totally different interface. Looks janky as fuck. Okay, it's burning in real time. And we're into... It'll take a minute. It, time doesn't really matter because you're having fun with this thing, right? I want to see the results. And here we go. Okay. So, leather. The leather, as we saw, was up by a blonde one. It was just curled up by a blonde one on this end and smeary as fuck right here. So the focal distance changed and lo and behold, it got smeary. We even missed a spot up here at the top of the A. So that is the best result you can expect on something that isn't perfectly flat. I, setting this thing up on a tripod to get the correct focal distance is gonna be janky as frig. Probably gonna spend 30 minutes getting it set up. Now there ain't nothing wrong with toys. I love toys, but I would wait six months and buy this from Amazon or AliExpress or Fleabay, the usual suspects, rather than risking, how much are these, 400 doll hairs? 400 doll hairs on what amounts to about 30 minutes of fun, 30 minutes of pulling your hair out, dicking around, and uh, you know, if you gotta be the guy that buys everything on Kickstarter, what for impressing your friends at the ladies auxiliary, then this is the thing for you. But buyer beware, it ain't gonna work as good as it does in the commercial. Surprise, surprise. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.